father, Lori. Obviously, by Nate, Zach, and Katie, who she raised, and the, and the products that she turned out, she was an awesome mom, too. Chadwick says even though the family was only in Savannah a short time, their impact won't soon be forgotten. The legacy I think they leave behind here as a school is is, is that, that whole idea of, of faith and action. And Wednesday, Calvary Day will remember and honor the family, as well as pray for the family's sole survivor, daughter Katie. Our school community is focused on those who are honoring those who are gone and, and focused on how we can support those who are left here. And now, Brooke, you heard from the fifth victim, Stephen Chauncey's family today. Yes, yeah, Shannon, I did. They were understandably too emotional to speak on camera, but they said Chauncey was actually a veteran of the U.S. Army. They say he served close to 20 years, and they're just devastated mm. by his loss. We're expecting to hear more from them very soon. Back to you. All right, thanks so much. The story is just heartbreaking all the way around. Thanks so much, Brooke. All right, now there is a GoFundMe to help support Katie Leffler. At last check, the account has reached more than half of its $100,000 goal. You can find the link to that fundraiser that's on our website. Just visit WJCL.com.